everybody. Welcome to the Sunday Sports Buzz presented by Sam Swope. This is Louisville's only live TV sports talk show, and we want to hear from you. Our number on the Goomer & Company buzz line is 964-2121. 964-2121. Give us a call. I'm your host, Greg Brown. Joining me this week, co-hosting with me, John Spears of the St. X Radio Network. And uh, John is an all-around talent. Happy to have him with us today. It's great to be here again. All right. And, you know, this is the busiest time of year, really, in our Cardinal Cat centric calendar. You've got football and basketball going full bore and this was as big as weekend as I think you can remember in a long time. Kentucky breaks the streak <laughs> versus Tennessee. They win their own Orange Bowl. They break the 26 game losing streak to Tennessee 10 to 7 and Matt Rourke did his best Tim Tebow impersonation, winning a game without having to throw a pass. It's really kind of a fairy tale story with Rourke going in there and leading the Cats, as well as that defense, to that 10 7 victory. It was a great win, and uh, Matt Rourke did everything he had to do. But if you're Tennessee, you've got to be embarrassed because after that first series, you knew he wasn't going to throw the ball down the field, you knew everything was going to be short. How could you not? at least get some points on the board and beat Kentucky. It's embarrassing for the Vols, I think, knocked them out of a bowl. Uh, but for Kentucky, you know, 1984, that's a long time ago, Greg. And yeah. uh, it's a long time to lose that many times to anybody. Florida streak still alive. I tell you what, though, John, I can understand the Florida streak more oh, yeah. so than this Tennessee streak because for most of the time, Florida has just been dominant for those 22 years. I'd say for of the 26 losses, maybe half of them, Tennessee's been a very dominant team, maybe one of the best programs in the country, but the other half of the games, Kentucky had legitimate chances, and you would think that one time over the course of those many years, they would have won at home. This is really an unexplicable phenomenon, and I think that's why you saw such a celebration at the end of the game. Well, they had a couple of those games won in the last five years, gave them away at the end. Uh, I don't know if it's a goalpost tearing down victory because you're still 5-7, and seven, you're still not going to a bowl game. Joker's still on the hot seat, whether this cooled it off a little bit or not. But, but the key is those seniors got the win that they wanted to get. It's almost better than a bowl game. It's yeah. not. We know it's not. But it almost is because it ends 26 years of misery. I tell you what, I think that it's better than a bowl. I think it's better than a bowl game. For, for this team, the victory is better. The bowl game, you wouldn't even remember it. You wouldn't yeah. remember who yeah. you played. But you will remember that you beat Tennessee. And you're five and seven. At least this team has something to take into next season. Right. Something to say that we had a success this year. Speaking of Joker, and you mentioned the status, uh, and I think for no doubt he's secure for next season. Now I think he was. I believe Mitch Barnhart all along that he was going to be secure regardless. But does this game affect how you feel about him and the job he's done, or where the program needs to go? How much pressure is on Joker, and what does he need to do? It's going to be right back on him next year when the Louisville game rolls around. There's no question about that. I think I'm not a huge Joker Phillips guy. I think he was a great assistant, great recruiter. So was Wade Houston at Louisville in basketball. Some guys just aren't made to be head coaches, and I, I haven't seen that he's made to be head coach. When you watch Louisville play on television and you see Charlie Strong on the sideline, this guy is invested. He is emotional. He is high-fiving guys. He's getting on them when they're doing stuff wrong. You watch Joker on the sidelines, you just don't see that fire. And I think as a fan, you want to see that fire out of your head coach. And you don't see that at Kentucky. One thing I think he might be able to gain from this victory is maybe some of that buy-in that you're talking about that Charlie has from his players. Maybe now the players that are coming back will believe a little bit more in Joker. You hope so. You, you would hope so. I think what he does need to do, though, John, is show a bit more creativity, especially on offense. I think this game with Matt Rourke, a guy that couldn't throw, the guy that you, the other team knew he wasn't going to pass the ball, Kentucky showed some of its most creative offensive game planning of the entire season by utilizing this guy's strengths. I mean, this was the first time, really, they, they changed it up and tried to do something different to win. They got to do a lot more of that next year. And T. Martin, a Tennessee quarterback who won a national championship, now quarterback coach at Kentucky, coached Matt Rourke in high school as a quarterback. And Randy Sanders and T. Martin put this game plan together. 
No turnovers. That was the number one key to the game. Yeah. Matt Rourke did not turn the ball over. It looked like he did once, but uh, luckily the camera. You did didn't get a break it. there. Luckily the you camera. You got a break on that. Call. Or at least the referees you, didn't. You need catch it. you. You probably deserve yeah. one after this yeah. so many years. But Rourke did just a fantastic job, and the game plan was flawless as long as the the players executed, it, and they did. All right, I put together a list real quick of the what I think are the top five UK football wins of all time, and I did a little bit of research here, John. If we can throw the graphic up, see what you think of my list. Because I'm going way back to uh, 1951 Sugar Bowl over that's, Oklahoma, that's number one in the nation. They won 31 in a row, and this is that mythical national championship Kentucky uh, counts in their record books. But Bear Bryant beat Oklahoma. Then that's you got a lot the, of research. I think Louisville is number two. I think that was huge. I put Tennessee, this game, three on the all-time list. The win over LSU, I'm putting down at four. I think it's down a bit, even though it was the number one team. I went back, you know, the Alabama game with how Mommy could have been on there. Penn State in 77 could have been on there. I go all the way back. They beat number one Ole Miss in 1964, 27-21. to 21. What do you think about the list? Well, I think if you look at the two games in 2007, the Stevie Johnson catch against Louisville, that sort of uh, took Rich Brooks to another level among UK fans. And then when they were able to beat LSU, ranked number one in the same year, go win a bowl game, all of a sudden Rich Brooks is a hero, a guy that uh, probably five games into his tenure at Kentucky, fans wanted him gone already, and uh, he became an instant hero that season, and that uh, kept him going. But you went back to the Bear Brown, you, you were at that Sugar Bowl game. I've heard, heard legend, the legend of it, yeah. the, the Bear, before the Junction Boys, he won at Kentucky. So give us a call, 964-2121, we'll hear your thoughts about the game. Let's go to L basketball. They win 59-54 to over Ohio Friday night, uh, a game that they had to pull out at the end. Um, Peyton Siva, I'm driving to the game, John, and Rick is on the uh, pregame show saying Peyton Siva won't play for another week. He it's can barely run up and down the court. Miraculous recovery is in the starting lineup. But I'll tell you what, they could not win without, they can't beat a good team without Peyton Siva. And this is a team that has guys out. But to be anything better, to be a great team, to be a very good team, they need all those parts. They need them all. And Peyton Siva, you can't win without him. And he showed it, even though he didn't score any points, he showed it Friday night. Well, it was a miracle. Another miracle, Rick Pitino miracle, that Siva was able to play. But the thing that UofL is going to have to do this year is play with passion. They're going to have to play with passion 40 minutes play together. They have to play, all of them have to play with the same intensity that Shane Bahannon shows. Now this guy's a freshman, but he's going to be a guy I think that can lead your team because of what he can do on the basketball. Well, you saw that drive to the basket and the dunk late in the game. The, the thing with this team, I don't think they shoot threes as good as past teams. I mean, there's not as consistent shooter of threes. They play great defense. That's going to carry the team. But as a Louisville guy looking ahead to December 31st, John, and seeing what Kentucky has, and I, you know, and there's some ways I'm not as worried about the, this Kentucky team. They got all these athletes, but I don't think they got the shooting like they did with Brandon Knight. I think Harrelson, they missed that big guy underneath. So, you know, I'm, I'm, in some ways I'm not as worried, but in other ways I'm more worried because of the great NBA talent you're going to Rupp Arena. If Louisville doesn't have everybody there, if they don't play at the top of their game, I think they could get run out of the gym. What would you say, and I think lightning, you could catch lightning in a bottle any time and win a game, and Louisville might do that. But in a best of seven, if Louisville and Kentucky played right now in a best of seven basketball series, what would the outcome be? Because I got a big heart, I, I'm going to say Kentucky wins the, the World Series of Kentucky-Louisville basketball four games to one. Because I have a big heart, and I'm going to let the cards sneak well, in. Well, I'll tell you what, I agree with you. I think it's four games That's to one. That's just right now. Yeah, I think it's four games to one of what I've seen. Now, I need to see all these parts, the Buckles, the Black Shears, the Van Trees. i got to get him back. He's hurt again. Get those guys back. We want to hear from you, 964-2121. We'll be back in a moment. This is a Sunday Sports Buzz presented by Sam Swope.